In this video, we'll show you how to view and interpret the reports you generate in Remark QuickStats. Reports provide a simple, visual way for you to examine your results. Remark provides a wide variety of reports you can use to gauge the effectiveness of your items, view student progress, and identify areas where instructional adjustments or remediation is necessary. After you've generated your reports using QuickGrade or AdvancedGrade, you can view a list of the reports you generated. We'll view just a few of the reports here. The Student Statistics Report provides a list of students and their grades on the test. If you defined a benchmark, as we did with the answer key previously, Advanced Grade draws a blue line for the benchmark and displays a bar chart indicating which students did and didn't meet the benchmark. The green bars represent students who scored higher than the benchmark, and the red bars represent students who scored lower than the benchmark. To show how the students performed on the subtests, you can scroll through the subtest using the arrows at the top of the screen, or you can select a subtest from the drop-down list. From the subtests, we can determine which students are proficient in each area and which students may need some remedial help in those areas. On the right side of the window is the report style pane. This allows you to determine the data to display on the report and sort the data as well as customize the formatting, headers and footers, and how information is labeled on the report. For more information about the report style pane, see the Remark QuickStats User's Guide. The Student Grade Report allows you to generate a report for each individual student. To do this, select a student and click Run Report. The Student Grade Report displays for the student you selected. The report displays how the student performed overall and on the subtests. From this report, we can see that the student performed well overall, but may require some remedial help in the area of punctuation. The report provides a listing of which questions were answered correctly and incorrectly, as well as a copy of the test to review with the student if necessary. Next, we'll look at the Condensed Test Report. The Condensed Test Report provides a summary of statistics for the test. The top portion of the report provides high-level statistics for the test, such as the total possible points, standard deviation, median and mean scores, as well as the reliability coefficient and scoring ranges. The table provides detailed information for each question on the test, including a list of all questions, the correct answer, and the frequencies of each response. The report also highlights distractors that were selected more frequently than the correct answer. On this question, we can see that students selected the distractor as frequently as the correct answer, which could indicate flaws in the question. The non-distractor column lists answer choices that were not selected. The Correct Group Responses section provides a breakdown of students answering the question correctly, including the total percentage of students who answered the question correctly and the number of students in the upper and lower 27% who answered the question correctly. The report calculates a point by serial based on the class responses. Once you've generated the reports, you can email them in a variety of formats such as PDF, text, or HTML, or you can export reports into many of the same formats or to an Excel spreadsheet. The Quick Grade and Advanced Grade features in Remark Classic OMR are powerful report tools that simplify the process of generating reports. We'll see you next time.